What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Whispers. I'm Kevin. I'm Nick. And tonight, we are going to try our hand at Benchmark. Uh, it's aged eight years. Uh, this is the last bottle of our cheap bottle whiskey. We're kind of interested to try this because this is actually uh, distilled, bottled, and everything um, by um, Buffalo Trace. So the difference between this and Buffalo Trace is actually where they store it in their warehouse. There are other brands where they use the same uh, mash bill and everything. It's placed in different uh, uh, areas uh, for their different flavors. So Apparently they don't need to describe tasting notes or anything on this bottle. All they have to say is the bourbon by which all others are measured. Mm. So that's, that's, some pretty, that's some bold statement right there. Yeah, that's bold. That's really bold. And uh, yeah, Kentucky Sour Mash, it is a straight bourbon, Kentucky straight. Now, if you've watched our other episodes, we tried Rich and Rare uh, Reserve, we tried Black Velvet Reserve, mm -hmm. and then um, Henry McKenna's uh, yes. was our last episode. And so out of, the, out of those three, I think for me, I think the Rich and Rare Reserve was a little bit more flavorful than the other two. I agree. Um, because those other two kind of fell flat. And surprisingly uh, though, they've all been halfway decent. Yeah. Yeah, they're not Especially horrible. for the price. Yeah, they're not horrible for the price. And so that kind of surprised us uh, just because you, you think you get what you pay for. So yeah, um, there's always that stigma attached yep. to price. So yeah. So actually, I mean, I think the one I was really disappointed in was a Black Velvet uh, Reserve was because it was very flat on the palate um, and everything, and there wasn't very much flavor that you got out of it. Yeah, pretty smooth, but not much flavor. Yep. Not much flavor. I think it would be a good mixing whiskey if you're gonna try to mix yeah. different things. But yeah. if you like to taste your whiskey, I would probably not recommend that. Yep. But yeah, let's get this one let's, let's do it. This one does have a twist top. It does not have a cork. So I don't know if that not makes a difference. enough for a cork. Yeah. It's got a nice caramel color from just looking at the bottle. But no. Not as vibrant as some, but not as opaque as others either. So. Actually, Almost really, like, I think out of the, all the whiskeys we tried so far, the, this one looks the most like apple juice. Yeah, it's got a nice honey color to it. Um, definitely like an apple juice. Yeah, I would, I would say that. Um, not very transparent. No. It's got some cloudiness to mm -hmm. it for sure. It does have sustainability on the glass. Not a lot, but yeah. It's, it's kind of dripping pretty quickly. Yeah. So Which means it may not be as uh, full bodied or um, as heavy, I guess, as some other whiskeys. Yeah. But on the same token, you never know the flavor profile until you taste it. But yeah, probably just mouthfeel though. It's yeah. Not gonna, it's not going to linger as, as heavily. Right. Probably. Some of you might be asking why we, we sniff the whiskey, it is called the nose. Um, and that's where you actually get a good sense of some of the aroma off the spirit uh, that you can actually tell. I'm kind of just smelling apples. All right, yeah, see, I'm, I'm kind of- Like I'm, an orchard or something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, get, I'm not really smelling caramel. No, I'm getting, I'm, yeah. Or, that's funny you mentioned that because I, I, that's what I smelled several times was just the apple uh, essence. It smells like apple. Yeah. It reminds me of apple. I'm getting a little bit of, of the oak Milk barrel. You try it. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's got flavor for sure, but it's got a almost crisp lightness to it. Like it's almost refreshing, actually. Yeah, you can definitely tell. There's a little bit of a peppery in the mouth. A little peppery feel for me. The finish isn't long. It's pretty short, uh, but you can feel the warmth. Yeah, if I was gonna come up with an image for this one, it's definitely like apple pie. It's, apple pie. Mm -hmm. There's an aftertaste to it, and I can't put my finger on it. I, I, I'm picking up the apple for sure, but it's it's but it's like there's a vanilla, like toast, toasted vanilla, mm -hmm. almost at the back. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. um, I have like a subtle lingering, so it's like apple up front, mm -hmm. and then like a subtle lingering of like cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar? Like a cinnamon spice, but it's so subtle, and then it's sweet kind of all the way through this this one. It's not sickening sweet. It's, it's I mean, it's enjoyable. It's not like, oh man, this is 
Oof. No, no, but there's definitely some sweetness, I think, all the way through. And uh, it, it is light, like it doesn't, uh, sometimes the whiskey will stay in your mouth for a while afterwards. This one kind of goes down and then it's just, you're kind of left with just that warm spice and then it's gone. See, I think that toasted vanilla that I mentioned, I think that actually has more of a, as I, it sits in my mouth, I'm really getting a sense of, of that. It's almost like a woodiness to it at the, at the end. Very good though. Yeah. I'm very pleasantly surprised actually. For 12, for 12, 13 bucks, you can't beat this one. Actually, I think out of all of them, this might be my, my number oh, one out absolutely. of the four. Absolutely. So, and that has nothing to do with it being distilled and bottled and everything by Buffalo Trace, like we said in the beginning. I think which is a, a trustworthy brand. It is. Sure. It absolutely is. I think for me, I think it's the fact that there's there is a lot of flavor in this. Um, I'm picking up a lot of notes, um, and it's enjoyable. Um, it doesn't burn. It does have a little bit of a pepper uh, to it towards the back. Uh, it's almost more part. warmth than burn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not it's not a burned flavor at all, or, or, or burnt. Uh, but it's it's just more of a, a you can nice... tell the alcohol is very refined mm -hmm. there are some that you taste and it's just almost like a perfumey alcoholness yep. and this has none of that yeah it. this is actually very enjoyable very good sipping whiskey um, if you're on a budget um, even if you're not on a budget I mean this would be a good um, you know sipping whiskey just to enjoy with friends or yeah. even making a, a Manhattan or an old fashioned or something like that. So I've had much worse whiskeys that were far more expensive than this. So Yep. So what would you what would you rate this out of ten? Ten being like the highest and one. So con considering the price and everything, um, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna be a little bit on the fence because I'm gonna say it, it definitely is for me better than all the other ones. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be like somewhere between a seven five and an eight. So oh, that's if, pretty up there. If there's a little gap right there, but yeah, definitely, definitely the best one out of the four that we've tried in this price range, for me. Wow. Very enjoyable. Now, I'm actually um, eager to try it over ice as well. So. Remind me, do you gave it a gave uh, Henry McKenna a five, right? Was that was that I think that it was one? a six? It was six six or six five? Okay. Yeah, I think honestly for me, because of the flavor profile, the price point, um, and the enjoyability of this, I think I'm gonna give this probably, I'm gonna be a little conservative, I'm gonna give it a 6.5, which is still good. Um, I would go as far as a seven um, with this because of the price point, um, but it's a very good uh, sipping whiskey. And the fact that it's been aged for eight years um, is actually pretty, pretty impressive so yeah you can tell it's been imparted with a lot of flavor yeah so. absolutely I really feel like it has a good mash bill as far as the what they use to distill it and uh, <clears throat> it's good Kentucky, Kentucky uh, bourbon so some but, sour mash you're left with literally a sour taste yep at the end and this doesn't have that yeah, absolutely. So we recommend going out and trying the others that we've tried and letting us know what you think. Uh, like and subscribe and let us know down below uh, what you think of Benchmark if you've tried it eight year. Um, or if there's a whiskey that you'd like to see us try that you haven't seen yet on our YouTube channel, uh, let us know. We'd love to hear from you uh, and we definitely would like a challenge of something that we haven't tried. Uh, and that maybe we've never heard of before. So I think that's it for the Whiskey Whispers. Thanks for joining us tonight, and uh, drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.